so let's talk about the footer responsive area in most cases all the responsive version works automatically but in few cases, you have to make them responsive you have to make them using custom code and custom css but as you can see if i navigate to my website and this is the footer that i have created and if i change the layout you can see carefully it will change the font size it will change the uh, space at the top at the bottom everything so if i click here here you can see it's changed its font size right change the gap at the top and it works automatically if i drag you can see it's increasing the font size at the same time increasing all over the padding at the top and bottom and this is how useful these features and it's all happening automatically here if i select tablet it looks like this and i i do not have to change anything inside the footer to make it responsive it's working automatically and there are a few things few times you have to adjust the footer you have to adjust some kind of layout using custom css code like the one for the header that we have used except that it looks perfect it looks uh, good enough to start uh, launching your website now if i click over here and open the group you can see when i scroll or drag it's uh, displaying side by side and let's see if is there any options for mobile devices for row when i select row you can see allow to wrap to multiple lines when i select as you can see there is an options here so how it works basically when i select this one allow to wrap to multiple lines and after activating that options as you can see when i reduce the screen size it will just change its position and displaying each other uh, at the below at the line here and this is what i wanted so sometimes you have to use css and if you don't know css then it's okay you can still use but um, hopefully they will be adding future uh, more features related to the responsive feature and there is a position so i hope you understand how it works if you have any questions you can simply ask in the comment section thank you so much